What's up guys, my name is Aaron. Today I'm going to be reviewing Summer Songs 2 by Lil Yachty. This is the latest project by him. He's best known for songs like Minnesota, One Night, things like that. The last mixtape that he came out with, Lil Boat, I thought that was pretty cool. I thought that was probably one of the biggest surprises of the year. I do like his youthful energy and the kind of different beats that he brought to the game. I didn't really expect it to be that good because I kind of thought of him as kind of like a joke meme artist, but I do kind of like his energy. So I was kind of expecting that too. I did get more of the same from that, but I I kind of thought this was a little bit more hit or miss overall. Definitely the production is probably one of the best things about this guy. It's very crazy, very different, and very unique. I like the kind of playful vibe that he brings to trap music. It starts off crazy. Intro, Thursday of Summer, I really love that track. It has this like very shimmery vibe to it with a kind of shining synth on that track and then the hard hitting drums. Definitely a really great way to kick off this mixtape. The song Why, I love the xylophone on that track. Uh, and then the grumbling bass and the kind of like the hard hitting drums. I like the so Lutely tag that plays on that track. It's the production company for uh, shows like Nathan For You, Check It Out uh, with Steve Rule and the Eric Andre Show. And um, I'm a really big fan of that type of like alt humor. So that was really cool to hear that tag in a hip hop song. The song Dipset, I really like that vocal sample with the kind of military vibe of that track with the drums and stuff like that. It's really weird, but I do like that that mixing together. It's very unique uh, kind of variations to the trap production that you hear nowadays. And I do like his energy too. It's definitely not for everybody, but I do enjoy it. He sounds really youthful. Like he sounds like a kid kind of playing around in his mom's basement. On the song King of Teens, I like his like kind of anthemic boast that he's uh, proclaiming on that track, kind of highlighting his iconicness for uh, a whole generation of kids. On the song Pretty, it's like a really lovelorn and kind of epic uh, track, really melancholic as he raps about like his feelings about this girl. He sounds really young on this track, like I, it's just weird hearing like a rapper that's like this young to me. And then the song Such Ease, he's talking about like how he's had kind of like a rough childhood and now he kind of lives a life with no worry, like he doesn't have to worry about money and stuff like that. I do like his youthful energy, it does separate him from other rappers, especially in the trap uh, where they're kind of I guess overly negative. I thought the features really didn't do anything for me at all. They just kind of detracted from me. I think that Yachty's like perspective is pretty interesting and I feel like the features kind of took away from that and I felt like this mixtape was pretty hit or miss too. There were some great songs on this but there were some really bad songs. The intro, even though the beat is like really great, he's rapping off beat for like half of the track. For Hot 97, the harder beat doesn't fit for him at all. It just kind of sounds kind of glaring and the same thing for Up Next 3. Um, he just, he's just not like um, a good fit for kind of like generic sounding trap beats. It doesn't really flow with his energy as well. It kind of sounds like he's fighting that beat to kind of stay relevant. But overall, there was some things that I did take away from it that I did enjoy. Again, I do like his kind of creative perspective to trap music, kind of like the production stuff with the kind of happy sounding elements and stuff like that. It kind of separates him from other rappers and especially his kind of innocent, youthful presence. Definitely not a lot of rappers in trap do that. I feel like the features kind of took away from young POV. I felt like it was a little bit more hit or miss than the last project. Overall, I would give it a C plus. There was definitely some things that I enjoyed, but I kind of would want like a more streamlined project from now on. If you're a Yachty fan, you're going to love this. If you're not a Yachty fan, don't bother. This isn't really going to change your mind at all. Yeah, so those are kind of my thoughts on the album, mixtape, whatever this thing is. What did you guys think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments what you thought, and thanks for watching. Thanks guys. Bye.